Pleasantator here, back with more Blood Bowl, and in my single player campaign, I did mention that I was going to be doing some multiplayer. Um, I created this league called Skull Cup, um, so I'm just going to do a quick overview, kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on before I start uploading the matches. Um, as you can see here, it is a 16, 16 team cup. <laughs> There's two pools of eight teams, and after all the matches are played, the top two teams from each division will advance to play in the playoffs, like a semifinal. Now, I did set the time limit per turn at two minutes because you know it's just it cuts down on a lot of the the time for um, uploading onto YouTube, um, and as you see here, I'm recording all of my matches, and I'll be uploading them for anybody who's interested in watching them on YouTube, um, and I think that about covers the, like, the leak's structure and everything, um, so let's go ahead and go into look at the teams. Now I am a little bit late on uploading this interview, so as you can see, there have already been let's see three yeah, three games in one division that have already been played. Um, so you can kind of see there uh, two of them were draws um, with one one winner. Um, so here's, I am going to be playing as the Dwarves. I'm not going to go into detail, too much detail here, and, and list out every single team. Um, I just wanted to kind of give a quick overview. Now, um, as you can see, there are two duplicated teams with the Chaos Dwarves and the Lizardmen. Now, I was thinking that when the league started, it would automatically place them in separate divisions, but I guess with it being cyanide, that, that was a little too much to ask for. <laughs> um, but I was hoping, against all hope, that I would not have to face a Lizardmen team right off the bat, because I have played against them a little bit and I've, I've seen them play and they're pretty they're pretty nasty starting off and uh, of course being that that's not what I wanted to have happen as you can see here match day one group one I am going to be playing against lizard men a uh, pretty standard setup there with six sources, four skinks, and a croxigor. Uh, so that's that's going to be a little difficult, I think. But we'll we'll see how it goes. I I don't know. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at my team. Now I, I've never really played as a bashy team, at least on multiplayer. I've been doing a little practice in single player with, with dwarves to kind of get a feel for them. Um, I went ahead and went with a five blocker, two runner, two blitzer, and two troll slayer set up, um, which those troll slayers I think will come in handy against, you know, possibly Croxagore and, and maybe some of those sauruses, but it's those skinks I'm going to have to look out for with their their high movement um, in the first match. Um, so I think that about covers it for for my team. I'm not like I said. I'm not going to go through each and every team, but you can kind of see here we've got a necromancer, Skaven, uh, Chaos, um, Undead, Underworld. Oh, and another Skaven. I guess I, I didn't realize that we had two Skaven teams, um, which those did get put in separate divisions. So that I guess that's something Cyanide did right. 
Um, then we've got two Chaos Dwarves, an Amazon, a Dark Elf, Vampire, Nurgle, and Norse. So it's a pretty bash-heavy league. Not a lot of agility going around here. But, um, as a bashy team, that kind of scares me because, like I said, I'm, I'm not too familiar with them. I've been playing mostly um, humans, a little bit of elf, um, and yeah, as you can see, I've, I've got three dwarf teams, and I've only played twice online with them. One resulted in a draw, and one resulted in a loss, so it's not looking too optimistic at this point. We'll see what happens. Um, and we do actually have a, have a pretty good little community of players here, it seems. And they've been pretty communicative on, on Steam and in the private chat here, so... So that's a plus. Um, and I, I am hoping to get most of my opponents, or well, at least some of them, if they have Skype. Or or some type of chatting program. I'm hoping to have at least a few of them join me for, for dual commentary. All for your pleasure. Um, yep, that should do it for, for this episode. Um, I'll be playing my first match later on today, so we'll hopefully get that uploaded shortly after this gets done uploading. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.